This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. In this creative and fun After Effects tutorial, we're gonna talk about logo animation by creating a single letter logo. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I know in the title, it says something like single letter logo animation, but this tutorial can be used for pretty much any type of logo animation. I just really wanted to create something fun and creative. The thing about this tutorial that makes me excited is that there are so many techniques that we're gonna go through that are very useful. And even though you might not create like a single letter logo animation, these techniques are gonna be used for pretty much any type of logo animation you may do. So I'm very excited about this. And before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, boom, here we are inside of After Effects and we got some work to do, let's get started. So here we are in our tutorial composition. The only thing I have in here is a letter and of course we have some subtitles in here it's up to you what you want to work with but i will show you how to animate all this so the first thing you want to do is either import a logo or if you're doing a single letter logo like i'm gonna do right here um you're gonna want to obviously find a typeface well actually probably gonna want to use a company's logo if you're using that but if you can create something a little bit more abstract something bold and something that stands out is the way to go and of course you know you might not be able to use a letter of a logo because you know it's not proper branding for that company but you know, this is just an abstract conceptual tutorial. So we're gonna work on that. So once you have your logo, your single letter, whatever you're using, select that layer and go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call this placeholder. This way we can change it out later and we're gonna leave this unaffected. So now we have our logo in here and I wanna create, you know, a little bit of a nice abstract design with this and I'm gonna create these gaps. It's very easy to do this and it's pretty much automated. So what we'll do here is we'll grab the rectangle tool and make sure no layer is selected. And we'll simply draw out a rectangle, you know, like this. All right, then we'll grab the selection tool and we can move this over here. And actually we'll make this a little bit thicker, great. All right, and we'll have this place on one of the sides of our letter or logo. And once this is ready to go, what we can do is open up the rectangle one, go to transform rectangle one, and we can rotate this by a little bit. And we'll put this on the back side of our letter. Great. Then we can close this up, go to add, and we'll add a repeater. We'll open up repeater one, and we can go to transform repeater one, go to the X position down here, and we will just close this up. So this way it'd be a little bit of gaps. And let me just change the color of this so we can see what we're doing here. Great. And then we can increase the number of copies to go across our comp. And we can make any adjustments here, you know, and I think this should be good. So it's going across our letter, our logo very easily. Great. So we're done here um, for now. And what we can do here is grab our placeholder and go to the track mat and set this to alpha mat. Now we have some gaps within our title and that is great. So, so we can also animate the shape layer to reveal on our logo. And it's really easy to do this. So we can come back here into our layer, go to repeater transform one here, add a keyframe for position and we can move this keyframe forward in time. So maybe we'll make this animation in a second and a half or so. And then we can bring the Y position down like this. Then we'll open up the transform rectangle one and we'll add a keyframe for position again, move that keyframe forward and just bring this layer down like this. So now, Nice, now we get this in here, and of course to make the last keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on our keyboard, and we'll just make some adjustments to our keyframes, so maybe we'll bring all these keyframes back a little bit, so we have a little bit of time. Now that we're all done here, we'll grab the placeholder and shape layer, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call it um, logo animated, and click okay, excellent. So now we wanna add a little bit of a custom color to this. It's up to you if you want to you know, keep it the same, you know solid color completely up to you let's go to effect generate and let's add a four color gradient this is a little bit fun to use but i'm going to bring all these points in closer to our logo so we have a little bit more uh, control over this and we can quickly come here and change out our colors and i went ahead and just pasted it in my colors but you simply just go through 
each color point change to what you need it to be. It's up to you how you want to design that color palette. It looks great. So now that we have our logo animation and a little bit of a design here, I want to make this logo pop a little bit more kind of like this. Create our own unique designs. Up to you how you want to stack these effects. But the first thing I want to do to make this really stand out is go up to Effect, Generate, and I'm going to want to add a CC Light Sweep to this. And you see that creates that nice light across our comp very easily. So what we can do is come here to begin our timeline, add a keyframe for center, and we'll move to the end of our animation. I'll come here all the way to maybe like seven seconds and I'll just bring this over here. And what's nice is I can increase the maybe edge intensity by a little bit and also the sweep intensity can go up by a touch. So now this is really standing out and you know, it's pretty unique. But I also like to go to effect perspective and I wanna add bevel alpha to this. And we can increase the light intensity to maybe one. And this is really starting to you know pop out there. Looks really nice. Um, one thing I also want to be able to add is go to effect color correction and curves and we can increase this by a little bit and this is going to make it a little bit brighter but that's not what I want to use the curves effect for. I want to create create our own custom shape. I kind of want to create uh, you know like a nice outline that you see here on our title. It's very easy to do this. So what we can do is go back into our placeholder composition, grab our base you know title. If you're using like an illustrator file of a logo it works the same way but it has to be either a text layer or an illustrator logo to do this. Right click this layer, go to create and click on create mask from text. Then just hit M on your keyboard for this outline, copy the mask path and we can just delete this outline and turn our letter back on and go back into our main comp. Then we'll just paste that mask on our logo animated layer. Then we'll hit E on our keyboard to bring up our effects, go to the curse property, go to compositing options, and click the plus icon here and set the mask reference to S, make sure it's set to that. And, and we can hit M twice on our keyboard to bring up all the mask properties. And we can decrease the mask expansion here. And voila, that looks great. Now that we have this outline in here, we can also go to effect perspective and add bevel edges. And it's just a nice touch to it. It's really up to you if you want to use this. I want to bring down the uh, edge thickness by a little bit more to maybe like 0.8 and maybe lower the light intensity to like 0.30 or so. So it's really up to you if you want to use something like that, but we definitely have a unique look in here. And I'm actually going to put this bevel edges above our curves. That way it just blends a little bit better in there. All right, cool. So we have the main bulk of our title done, but there's a little bit more I want to do to really make this stand out. So first I want to talk about animating any subtitles to go along with this. So simply all I'm going to do is open up our first subtitle here, go to animate, and I'm going to add an opacity. And we'll bring the opacity down 0%. We'll open the range selector, add a keyframe for start. And we'll move forward, you know, maybe by a second or so. Set this to 100%. And now our title will fade on. Then I want to do the same thing for the title underneath it. But I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go to that title, go to animate, add the opacity again, set it down to 0%. Open up the range selector. And, you know, right at this time, add a keyframe for start. And we'll move forward. A little bit and set it to 100% and it's gonna do the same exact animation but this time I want to go into the advanced tab and set it the mode to uh, words or the based on to words this way it'll come on word by word and it's just a nice touch animation to this and then we just hit you on our keyboard and we can make all these keyframes easy easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard and that looks nice currently here's what we have we have our nice you know, logo animation and our words coming in. Very nice, very clean, and looks ready to go. And before we move on and finish up this awesome logo design, I want to give a shout out to several After Effects packs that I use to help me speed up my workflow and to create awesome work. These packs are Toko and Create Pack, which have thousands of elements from title animations to devices to backgrounds to shape elements and a whole bunch of other useful elements that allow me to quickly add amazing elements to my compositions. And what's great about these packs is that they come with extensions for After Effects, meaning that you can preview all the templates within After Effects and just click on apply and bam, it's already in your composition. And you can easily make any changes to text, colors, 
and then before you know it you're rendering out your project so if you want to start getting work done really quick while producing amazing results for your business and for your clients i will drop create pack and toko links in the video description so you can check them out for yourself so now we'll go ahead and continue on to our next step so next up i want to further animate this by displacing our logo and i want to be able to create this very controlled so what i'm going to do here is grab the rectangle tool and just set the fill to white it actually doesn't really matter what color you have this on and I'm just going to come here and draw out some very, you know, straight across control lines, maybe two at a time. And I'll come here to begin our timeline and I'll bring this into three frames, make sure three frames long. Go up to edit, split layer, and then I'll just delete it. And then again, I'll make sure the rectangle tool is selected and I'll do maybe another sort of set of lines like this, you know, just like that, no problem. And I'll bring the endpoint in, go back to three frames, move forward to frame six, split the layer and delete it. And I'm going to create three more copies like this. So now I have five shape layers that have these rectangle designs here. And this is going to be my displace layer. So what I'm going to do here is grab all three of these shape layers and go to layer pre-compose. And we'll just call it displace map and click OK. And at 15 frames, I'm just going to chop this up and just close that in so I know that this is the entirety of our displacement. And then I can move this over to maybe two seconds. And I'll turn this layer off and go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. And I'll rename this one to Displacement Map. And we'll go to Effect Distort. And we're going to grab Displacement Map. Set the Displacement Map layer to Displace Map. And I'll set the Vertical Displacement to zero. And we increase the horizontal by a little bit, maybe 50. So now whenever this displace layer is in our timeline, it's going to displace our logo like that. So now we have this nice displacement here. And if you want, you're welcome to, you know, add more shape layers. You can duplicate this effect. It's really easy to do. But I also want to be able to like cut out specific parts of our title by using the same displacement map layer. So what we can do is take our dis displace map layer and we can duplicate it. And I'll rename the top layer here to glitch map. And I'll bring this layer under, above our animated logo layer. And I'll take our glitch map layer, move it over in time, maybe like three seconds. And then go to our logo animated layer and set this to alpha inverted map. So now we'll have our glitch and then we'll have our like removal of our title and it's very nice effect to pull off and work with so that's really nice and to finish off this logo animation i want to use the effects that i always use to kind of polish this off so i'm going to create a new adjustment layer rename this to just uh let's call it final and we'll go to effect noise and grain and i'm going to add noise and i'm going to set the noise up to maybe like 15 percent uncheck use color noise and then we'll go to effect color correction curves and I'm just going to bring up the bottom here, kind of make it a little bit more VHSE. And nice. And one thing I want to do is maybe animate our background just to kind of add a nice little touch to this. So all I'm going to do here is grab the ellipse tool, make sure our background is selected. And I'm going to bring up title safe real quick. And I'm going to come here and draw a perfect circle. I'm going to hold down shift and control to draw out the circle like so. And just pick it the size of the comp. Grab the selection tool and grab our mask. And center this up the best we can. Nice. Open up mask one, add a keyframe for mask path. Move that keyframe forward by like maybe 12 frames. Make sure the mask path is selected. Hit Control T on your keyboard to bring up the transform. That's Command T on a Mac. And I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift on my keyboard and truly scale this in all the way. And one thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this is in the center of our comp. That's fine. That's nothing perfect. And make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. This way we have just a little extra animation of the logo and overall it's looking great. But one thing I also want to do is just draw a little bit more attention to everything. So when it's all said and done, I'm going to select everything, uh, pre-compose it. I'm going to call it all and then go to the beginning of our timeline, hit S and keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for that, move to the end of our animation, let's say five seconds. And I'm going to scale us in just by a little bit. So this way we have just a nice little bit of scaling in to our animation and making it stand out. So. 
that is really cool and completely up to you how you want to use these effects. So those are some of my creative logo animation techniques. And remember, you don't have to use all these. Just pick and choose what works best for your project, coupled with several other techniques that were not shown in this tutorial. So hope you found this video helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.